What's going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the My Gardener channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna share with you my little itty bitty secret on how I keep my beds lasting as long as they do. We're going on year seven with untreated pine. And a lot of you have asked me, Luke, there has to be some type of secret that you're using. And I've mentioned it before, so it isn't really a secret, but I've also never really done a video about it. So today we're gonna to do a video about it on how you can increase the length of your beds or the life expectancy of your beds by probably at least two or three years. Let's go. All right, so what we're gonna be using today is known as boiled linseed oil. Now this is great because this is all natural. It's gonna simply coat the outside of your beds, not necessarily the inside. When you build your beds before you fill them with soil, I always recommend putting a nice coat on the inside of your bed as well. And this just helps to kind of penetrate the wood and to actually prevent rot and things like that from happening. Now, you don't have to do this. You can also do this with, uh, there's lots of other oils. You don't have to use boiled linseed oil. You could use any type of oil, but I like boiled linseed just because it's very easy to apply. It's also pretty inexpensive. And a lot of you, like I said, a lot of you have been asking me what I do. Now, I do this every single year. I do this every single year, and I just put a good coat on, on the outside of the raised bed. What that prevents is it prevents things like bacteria and fungi from eating away at the wood. You'll notice your wood does get punky after a while, but our wood right here, like I said, year seven, totally solid. It's remarkable. And this was just the cheapest uh, untreated pine that we could find. Um, each one of these raised beds cost us about 25 bucks to build. That's how cheap we went on the wood. And you spend a tad bit more on some boiled linseed oil and it really goes a long way. I just put a single layer on, it's gonna look wet, and when it dries, it's gonna have kind of just a, a slightly darker color to it, but it's gonna soak into the wood. I don't typically put a second coat on because I've been doing this every single year, but the second time, you, or like the very first time you apply boiled linseed oil to your raised beds, you may wanna do two coats, that's totally up to you, but I find just one really good solid coat, let it soak into the wood, is typically all I need. Now, when I went to the hardware store, usually I'll get a giant jug of it. Little tip for you, a little pro tip, definitely get a bigger jug. It's gonna, it goes, uh, it goes pretty quick. Um, you'll be surprised at how, how fast it goes. But one of these jugs right here should do about two, two and a half raised beds, just as a little tip for you. Not necessarily the inside, but just counting the outside and the top of the bed. That's about how much we get, about two, two and a half raised beds, uh, beds worth out of one of these, uh, one of these quart uh, jugs of boiled linseed oil. So go with a big jug. If you got a lot of raised beds, I'll have to hit up a few more hardware stores, but this was the last one they had. So, um, but it's, uh, it's kind of that time of year too. Everyone's kind of treating their wood. And the great thing with this versus stuff like latex paint or lacquer, stuff like that, number one, no, uh, uh, no VOCs or volatile organic compounds. There's no VOCs, there's no fumes. It, is, uh, it can be a tad bit irritating to the skin, just a little bit, um, but you can also wear gloves to do that. You can also use a rag and just wipe it on. That also works really well. Just definitely put a glove on, but there's no VOCs. It also does not have any chemicals that leach into the soil, which is awesome. It also um, is far less expensive. And the final thing too is it, it literally breaks down. It'll degrade over time. So as the wood begins to break down and you know, kind of weathers the oil, it'll also break down the oil over time as well. So it's not like paint, which is gonna be there for you know, forever. Um, it's not like lacquer, which is uh, in a petroleum-based product, which you know, obviously really harms soil life and, um, and won't ever really break down in the wood. So it's always gonna kind of remain there. Um, those things are ones that, you know, I know people do paint their raised beds, but I'd really encourage you to use boiled linseed oil. It, goes, it really uh, goes a long way to extending the life of your raised beds for pretty cheap. You can also use boiled linseed oil to protect your garden tools from things like rust. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I've got some old uh, garden tool handles here. Absolutely love these things. And typically, like I said, you can take a rag and wipe it on. It works really, really well. But this stuff is super effective at keeping your, your wooden handles in good condition. Um, I'll just kind of run those through a paintbrush or run through a rag, get them really well coated and then just let them air dry, just like that. Just gonna 
let them hang out just like that. And they'll soak into the wood. It'll help to kind of keep that, that, hand, that handle feeling soft, keep it from uh, forming any like splinters and stuff like that. Really is great to condition your wood, but also your metal tools. Check it out. So when it comes to metal tools like these pruning shears here, all you have to do is take your boiled linseed oil, coat the metal, and that will cut down on things like rust. I absolutely love, you know, you can take, uh, you can take a little bucket of sand, take your, uh, take your little hand shears, take your, your shovels, your trowels, your loppers and stuff like that. Prevents rust, also kind of lubes them up, kind of helps them open and close a little bit better. But absolutely do this every single year without fail. There's not a year I don't do this really helps to prolong the life of your tools. Because again, you spend a lot of money on these tools and I believe in using heirloom tools, tools that, you can be pass, that can be passed down from generation to generation, just like heirloom seeds can be. And so uh, boiled linseed oil is such, a, is such an incredible tool in our garden, one that we use uh, for a host of different reasons. And I really hope that you'll check it out as well. If you've used boiled linseed oil, make sure to comment in the comments box down below if you like it, any other alternatives that you've used and how you like those, I'd be curious to see what you're using. If it's not boiled linseed oil, um, you know, what you are using. But if you did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video uh, with someone that you think might enjoy it, because I bet you they probably will. So as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel, reminding you to grow bigger. Take care.